Welcome to today's episode of Fat Pencil on Mickey's HD. Still, I am the real Mickey. Crobia Santanat is my name. Today, I have a very special thing for you. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share for others to also get and do the same thing as you did. Share. Don't forget. Bro, please don't forget. Support the movement. Support it. Share, subscribe. If you are new here, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and like the video leave a comment about it and god is going to bless you let's start you i want to tell you the reason why many african countries have a similar colors in their flag like this similar color that i'm talking about is red yellow green which some people also said that red gold green that's the color i'm talking about and in ghana here we have red yellow green plus black star in the middle of it so i'm about to tell you the meaning of the reason why these african countries have a similar or common colors in their national flag on october 11th 1897 a year after ethiopian defended itself from italian colonization at the battle of Adja. Emperor Menelik II authorized the creation of a flag containing a rectangular tricolor from top to bottom, red, yellow, and green. This flag will eventually have the first letter of its name placed on the center strip and it will become a clear reference to the Ethiopian Abyssinian Empire. If you talk about the Ethiopian Abyssinian Empire, an, the Abyssinian is an is a Ethiopian word, but it's one an, it was an empire it was an empire in ethiopia in 1897 so let's continue as the only african state that resisted modern european colonialism having defeated the kingdom of italy in 1896 this ethiopian flag will be changed several times over the years as the country itself evolved from a monarchy to a dictatorship and to the parliamentary democracy but three colors will remain in march 1957 ghana became the first country in sub-sahara saharan africa to gain independence and dr osajifo kwame nkrumah became the country first prime minister and president mr Osage for Dr. Kwame Nkrumah emerged as a major advocate for the unity of independent Africa. And he embodied a political activist approach to pan African campaigning the quest for regional integration of the whole of the African continent. You see, the concept of pan Africanism is a worldwide movement that aims at encouraging and strengthening the bonds of solidarity between all indigenous and diaspora ethnic groups of Africa. So Asajibo Dr. Kwame Nkrumah was strongly inspired by Ethiopians resistance against foreign occupation and decided to incorporate the country's tricolor screen into the Ghana flag as a way of praying homage to ethiopian for being the only african country aside from liberia that was never colonized they took ethiopia's flag which by this time and the green strip on top instead of red flipped it and placed a black five point star in the center of the flag Soon, other newly independent African countries would follow suit. Guinea, upon gaining independence in 1958, took the same idea, but this time they went for a vertical tricolor scheme instead. Mali's flag is Guinea's flag, but the green at the beginning and red at the last trip. The flag of Cameroon, similar to Mali, the 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 I'm, I'm coming please yeah so the flag of cameroon was similar to mali's own 
and has red at the middle band with a yellow star in a green strip at the end of the flag. The flag of Senegal is very similar to that of Mali but with a green star in the middle. Other African countries that had these colors in their flags include Togo, Comoros, Burkina Faso, Celsius, Guinea-Bissau, Sao Tome and Principe, Congo, Mozambique, Zimbabwe, Mauritania, Benin and so many others. These three colors red, green and yellow with the inclusion of black will later be known as the Pan-African colors. Although the meaning of the individual colors used in a country flag may differ from country to country, the countries of the flag that make use of the Pan-African colors have similar meaning with green representing the unique nature of the continent having good land for agriculture and representing the blood and red is representing the blood and common heritage of Africans during the fight against oppressions from colonialism yellow representing the wealth of Africa the wealth of Africa and finally black which signifies the color of the people and however there is another variation of the Pan-African color scheme developed by the Marcus Mozia Gavi. The Jamaican-born founder of the Universal Negro Improvement Association, UNIA, that makes use of just red, green, and black colors. Countries like Malawi, Kenya, and the former country of Biafra were inspired by this color combination the countries of these flags do however share similar they share similar meaning with those inspired by ethiopia now the adoption of this particular colors by these african countries was not because they lacked artistic artistic or design taste we must understand that at that time these countries were just recovering from colonial oppression and the way they could relate with each other was to adopt similar colors as similar adopt similar colors as similar colors may signify similar heritage sorry for that and again the ideas of pan-african which is a call for united africa was a big deal for the continent africa at that time we are indeed grateful to these African countries for choosing to adopt the Pan-African colors in their flag because every time the flag of these countries are raised, they remind us of the great African soil, the wealth in the continent, and the colors of the people. And above all, the blood of this and the blood of those who give everything for the land they loved like our society our culture our politics our history and the government so this is how it is this are this is how it all came about that we have a similar color in this thing one thing is i was reading for my book which i i wrote it myself i've learned it myself and i wrote it myself but i cannot capture everything in my head that's how i was reading from it that is that for that but one most mistake that most Ghanaians usually do is they say it, it, it is Mrs. Tezosia Sereme Oko who designed the Ghanaian flag. It's not true. The reason why I'm saying that is not true is Dr. Kwame Nkrumah adopted these colors from Ethiopia. So he adopted the color and Mrs. Tezosia Sereme Oko just arranged it that maybe we are not going to use this like we are not going to arrange ours as the same as Ethiopia so he did that that is what he she did that is what she did you know maybe he brought the colors all together and that's the he did some smart and the government come also did some so it's not only Mrs. to this sorry Oko who designed the flag of Ghana according to my research Carmen Kuma is also part and we have the color we adopted the color from Ethiopia that is how it is in 1957 March when we gain independence at the same time we got our national flag which is red yellow green with black star in the middle of yellow that is how it is still I'm the roommate you probably have Mark is my name don't forget to subscribe like comment and share support the movement
this is the end of today's fa pencil show maybe a bit pencil so i won't see anymore for the pencil support the movement it is how it is so i think my week so any comments just join it at the comment section if you have any comments drop it at the comment section and i'm going to answer you i have time for my viewers and my subscribers and i'm one i'll never be here so do that for me share subscribe share like comment and share thank you very much so i am the real make you probably asante mark is my name follow me on instagram probably dot asante underscore mark thank you Grab. Grab.